Greetings! We're here in the Oregon Cascades in late spring, taking a look at a not good plant, false morel. And these are distinctive from actual morels by the fact that they don't have any pits in their sort of cap or head there. And it just kind of looks more like a lumpy brown brain. And you don't want to eat these or even touch them or handle them raw because they have a very, very toxic compound called MMH. I believe it's monomethylhydrazine, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. It's a mouthful. But it's super toxic. Even a little bit can kill you. And especially when it's raw and it hasn't had a chance to try to be removed. Apparently people do try to eat them by boiling or drying and then cooking. But even boiling it, the steam rising off the pot can sicken you because that compound is being released in it. So definitely uh, leave the lid off if you're going to try and cook these to make them safe. But, uh, you know, when you, you're walking up on them at first, you go, oh, look, morels, oh, look, there's a, and there's more than one. Like I see, uh, you know, there's another one right next to me here. And then there's another one over here. And then there's a fourth one over to my left. But uh, you can kind of see how they don't really have that classic sort of conical, you know, morel shape where it'll kind of peak in a certain way. And, you know, morels don't always grow straight up, but they definitely are so distinctive. That's why they're one of the more popular uh, mushrooms to hunt, because they're very, very easy to identify. As long as you know the difference between this one and the actual morel. Because that MMH is not something to mess around with. I mean, we know that morels have to be at least parboiled or maybe sautéed really, really quickly in a pan to kill, I believe it's helvetic acid. Is that the one that's in morels? Basically, you don't want to eat any of these, these sorts of things raw because you just don't know whether or not there's going to be that much or that little of whatever is in it that's bad. Um, they're obviously not cultivated, so that's kind of up to Mother Nature what she wants to be inside of these. But they're really cool looking. They look like dark black aged brains, but the lack of pits, and you can see that they're just sort of smooth, that lack of pits is the very, very distinctive appearance. And uh, if you had them side by side, uh, you could definitely see, and I do have a couple of uh, actual morels near camp, a couple of white ones, and there was a black one too. And so if you see them side by side, it's very, very obvious. And here we have a normal black morel. You can see it's got its classic pitted shape. And its little buddy over here has that classic conical shape. And right over here by it is, you guessed it, there's a false morel. Very, very distinct in its brain-like appearance, no pits. And if you did slice open the morel, it would be hollow inside, or maybe occupied by a bug or something. But here we are, right next to each other. True morel, false morel. And so it's incredibly important to know which is which and take extra time to make sure you know which is which. Because if you make a mistake with mushrooms, it could be the last mistake you ever make. It may be a tasty meal, but this could be the last meal that you ever eat. And uh, I would definitely highly, highly advise you and urge you to learn, learn, learn mushrooms very, very carefully before you go accidentally picking something like this that can definitely kill you. And people have died from eating these, so be careful. You, you want to make sure you know exactly what you're gathering or hunting or harvesting and that you know the procedures for making them safe to eat if they do have any toxins of any kind. But it's uh, definitely a, a worthy one to know, in, at least in terms of, of how cool it looks. I mean, I just, I really like it. It's kind of cool looking, you know. It's kind of a shame that they're so nasty <laughs> because that, that MMH is just, it sounds like the worst thing ever. Like, geez, just a tiny little bit it could be enough to kill you and... You know, some people seem to be able to tolerate it after it's been cooked, but I'm not going to take the risk. Personally, I'm not a big fan of mushrooms, and uh, this would certainly be, you know, last resort mushroom if there was literally nothing else to eat. But there's, you know, springtime right now, there's so much that you could possibly forage or gather. Everything's blooming and coming out, so it's, a, you know, you don't need to worry about, oh, no, that's the only thing there is. No, 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 it's not at all. These are hardly, hardly needed at all in terms of the dinner table. But it is needed to know in your knowledge base, so you know which ones to not look for. So uh, do your best to identify and make sure you do not gather false morel or brain mushroom because it's not a it's not a friendly plant, it's even especially raw, because the the toxic compound has not had a chance to be removed by any process whatsoever. So I'm not even going to touch them. I'm only moving them around with sticks and then discarding the stick well away from me. But I just, I like the way they look. They're pretty cool. But uh, they're not so cool if you decide you're going to introduce them to your body. But uh, make sure you know the absolute difference or 
else. <laughs> you just don't want to risk it. Don't risk it. Don't risk it. Be absolutely sure what you are identifying, what you are gathering, and what you are putting on your dinner table so that you can have more than one dinner after that instead of that being your last dinner ever. But uh, it's a good one to know. It's a good one to make sure that you know so that you don't get the wrong one. And I want to thank you very much for taking a few minutes here to take a look at this not-so-good mushroom, false morel or brain mushroom. <laughs>